All right, I am doing a PSA because I honestly feel like a lot of the times when this happens, it's generally because people don't understand how it works. So I'm gonna tell you the story about what happened to me and why this is a PSA. So I get a phone call, I'm gonna say around Tuesday, so clients wanna see a house. And I'm like, okay, great. They're like, can we see it tomorrow? I'm like, great, let me call. Well, I call and my sellers are sick. They are sick and contagious and can't show. We have an open house scheduled for Sunday. The buyers are like, we really want to see it before the open house. I'm like, okay, let me see what I can do. Um, the sellers are just not feeling good. They really just want to wait till the open house to give them time to get better. So I tell my buyers, look, I understand you're in a hurry. Um, my sellers are sick. We can do the day of the open house. They said that we could show it. But the good news is, is that nobody else is going to be able to look at it either. Like you're still going to get first jump at it because I, it can't be shown period because they're sick. And they're like, okay, okay, we'll be, we'll be there um, at the beginning of the open house. We'll be there as soon as you open up. Okay, cool. Well, the day before the open house, I get a showing request. And of course I have to decline it because my seller said no showings until the open house. Um, then the agent's like, okay, well, when they can see it. And I was like, well, you can come before or after the open house or you can send them to the open house. Doesn't matter to me. So all good. I confirm the appointment. They go look at, um, open house starts at one. They go look at 1215. You know, I kind of get this spidey sense having done this for a while. I know, I, I just know, but I'm like, it's probably my clients. It's probably them. So I even messaged them the day before, like after I get that showing request, I'm like, Hey guys, like, I'm so excited to see you for the open house. And they're like, okay, great. We get out of church at this time. We'll drive right over and see it. And I'm like, okay, great. So I'm like, maybe not, maybe it's not them. Maybe it's a weird coincidence. Cause that also happens. Well, it's uh, halfway in my open house and they're still not here. And I just know that they called another agent because they didn't like my answer that it couldn't be shown. So they thought they'd try it with another agent and see if they could get a different answer for them. But what doesn't make sense to me is when the agent told them the same thing I told them, why they didn't, you know, come back to me or why they would do that in the first place. Just because you don't like the answer to something doesn't mean that it's not the right answer. But I wanted to use this as an opportunity to educate you and beg you guys that if you work with one agent or with an agent to buy a home, work with one agent. Don't call five different agents because there's five different houses listed. Because when you do that, you're wasting the four other agents time. Pick one agent, pick the local area expert, pick somebody you mesh with, pick somebody whose social media reflects the style that you're comfortable with. Um, if somebody does a good job, if somebody answers all your questions and seems like they're knowledgeable, hire them, stick with them because only one agent gets paid for helping you buy a home. And if you're calling five other agents with the intent of meeting five other agents, four of those agents aren't getting paid and you are disrespecting and wasting their time. And I'm sorry, it's a very blunt way to put it, but we are in the business of selling homes, not touring homes. We're, we're not in the business of playing HGTV and showing homes and looking at homes. We're in the business of helping people buy and sell homes. That is our job. So respect your agent's time hire the one you like and stick with them. If they don't work with your schedule, if they you don't like them, you can always fire them. But when you do be upfront and honest and be like, hey, I don't think this is working out. I'm going to use this agent and then move on. Best advice. I hope this helps. Thank you for listening. <laughs>